If you've ever set a goal and thought maybe you didn't set it high enough, it was too easy to achieve, or on the flip side, you made it so aggressive that you'll never ever hit it, then you want to stick around because I'm going to share my goal setting secrets with you today. Hey everyone, it's Leanne from LeanneCalderwood.com and Resident Goal Geek. I love setting goals. Uh, I'm a slave to my goals, uh, which is not a healthy relationship. Trust me, there's, um, there's a lot to be said about finding balance with setting your goals and working towards them. And this week I found myself having to set some other goals, not business related, actually, they're more personal goals. Uh, but I was trying to think of a way, how do I tackle this goal and in all honesty, I just have to apply the same principles that I apply when I'm looking at my business goals to my personal goals as well. And that is instead of setting one goal, I'm actually going to set three goals for the same purpose. So instead of setting one goal of achieving a certain amount of revenue within a year, I'm going to set three goals, which includes a meet goal an exceed goal and a far exceed goal. I believe when doing so, you have now eliminated the possibility of you second guessing your goals. And here's how. So the meet goal should be something that is over and above what you did last year, perhaps three to 15% above. Um, so looking at your revenue from last year or looking at your the number of clients that you served last year, a good meet goal would be three to 15% higher than what you had last year. So that's achievable, right? You can do 3% better than you did last year. If you're growing in your career and you're spending time every day growing your business, you're going to meet that goal. Okay, so it's not something that's too aggressive, it is achievable. But what if you really want to go all out and really kill it this upcoming year with your business. Now you're gonna set some exceed goals and far exceed goals. Exceed goals should be roughly 10 to 30% higher than what you did last year. So these are goals that you're going to be uncomfortable trying to achieve. This is going to push you out of your comfort zone. You're gonna to have to put in an effort to get to this exceed goal. So put, so ask yourself those questions when setting your exceed goal about what's gonna make you uncomfortable, but still achievable. And finally, my favorite, the far exceed goal. So this is the goal 30% plus. This is really for you goal geeks out there and you go-getters who wanna accelerate your career in a massive way. That's your far exceed goal right there. You are putting in the time, you are putting in the effort, you are creating new ways of generating business and you are really, really growing your bottom line. So that far exceed goal should be just out of your grasp, but if you stand on your tippy toes, you're gonna to be able to touch it. That's the feeling you should get with that far exceed goal. So now you've set these three goals, your meet goal, your exceed goal, and your far exceed goal. The key to good goal setting is in the follow-up. So make sure that you're checking in with yourself every couple of months on your goal and see where you're on track to hit. If you're on track to hit meet, exceed, or far exceed, and then maybe adjust the activities that you're doing to ensure that you're still on track the way that you want to be. And finally, whenever you're setting a goal, make sure you set a celebratory milestone or a way to celebrate the success of your goal. That's the one thing I struggle with and I, <laughs> I'm the worst person to take advice from when it comes to celebrating your goals. Uh, Cause I'm, I'm that girl who meets a goal and then jumps to the next one right away. There is no time to celebrate. But with this personal goal this week, I am setting some celebratory things to the meeting and exceeding of my goals. 
you need to do that. It's such a healthy behavior to actually celebrate when you're hitting your goals. I know this intuitively. I know this. I still struggle to do it, but intuitively, I know that if we all celebrate our goals, it's going to push us and encourage us to be that much better next year, kind of like a motivator, right? So whether it's a financial reward to yourself or a trip to the spa, girls weekend, guys weekend, whatever that celebration looks like, assign it to those goals. And then when you hit those goals, you can partake in the celebration knowing that you worked hard to earn that reward. Along with this video, I've actually created a worksheet for you. It's a fun worksheet. Well, okay. Goal geeks will find this to be a fun worksheet. Um, the rest of you might have to slave through it. But it is a worksheet that's designed to help you not only set your meet, exceed, and far exceed goals, but also to keep you on track for that follow-up and to document your celebrations. So you can download the worksheet by going to, into the blog post, which is below the video here. Go to the blog post. The worksheet is on there. Download that worksheet and start working on your goals. So whether you're setting some business goals this week or maybe some personal goals, the rule of three, I think, is a great way to set some goals, be realistic, but also challenge yourself in a way that's going to really push you in your business. I hope you found this post helpful and I wish you all the success in the world this week as you're setting your goals. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.